is better. <laughs> to be slow and sure. It's a right division. Make it plain. Pursue it. Though it tarries, don't stop running. But it shall surely come to pass. It shall not tarry. About 40 years ago, our office space was two rooms of 100 naira per month. They don't pay one year then. Nobody has that kind of money. You pay on monthly basis. My car was one in town. When it's coming, you will know. Hey, you don't need to hear a horn. The entire car is a horn. <laughs> Amen. But at the end, though it tarries, wait for it. It shall surely come to pass. <laughs> Something is breaking forth in your life. That little business in your hand will soon become a national phenomenon. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's story is changing. We have the likes of Daniel, purpose in his heart not to defy himself with the king's rich food. They could not find anything amiss in him, for he was a faithful man, and there was no error found in him. Daniel chapter 6 and verses 4 and 5. And we are told he became relevant to the government of Babylon for 65 years. Under four different kings. Come on now. That's the sure foundation that secures a great future, the fear of the Lord. The sure foundation that secures a great future, the fear of the Lord. Nehemiah came on with a born and passion for God. He became governor, but never ate the bread of the governor. Never. Never. He was not a usurper. He was a leader. Paul, a man of great conscience, took over the whole of Asia within two years. Within two years. That's the way it works. We saw that all the platforms for takeover in the church of Christ required the fear of the Lord as the foundation. And if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The believer is helpless without the fear of God at his foundation. No building has a future without a secured foundation. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 19 to 21. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure. Having this seal, the Lord made that his, and let everyone that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. The sure foundation is a departure from iniquity. A conscious departure from iniquity. A consistent departure from iniquity. A genuine hatred for, for iniquity. But in a great household, there are many vessels. There are vessels of gold and of silver, but also of earth, of wood and earth, and some to honor, some to dishonor. But if a man therefore purge himself, from these vices, it shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, made for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Now, wait a minute. Your life has no foundation without the fear of God. You are a building without foundation. Any slight wind will bring it down. You are building on a sand. The slightest of temptations will crush it. So mind your foundation. is the security of your destiny. Mind your foundation. is the security of your destiny. Mind your foundation. is the security of your destiny. 
Again, my prayer is that no one here misses out of it. <laughs>